Oh, what's this? Another day, another demonetized video on YouTube. Why am I not surprised? Well, this is my first non-YouTube video here on Minds.com. Welcome, welcome. I figured I'd produce a video here to encourage folks to consider signing up to other platforms, and I'll probably do one exclusive video here every month. So my life as a YouTube content creator has suffered the same setbacks as anyone else on our side of the political struggle. YouTube's punishment of conservative and libertarian commentators continues with not just demonetizations, but with mass flagging of videos they don't like as inappropriate. This may be the YouTube Heroes program beginning to flex its easily triggered Hitler youth style muscles, but then again, we don't really know for sure at this point. PragerU, which is Dennis Prager's conservative YouTube channel, which includes the factual feminist video series presented by Christina Hoff Summers, have had 21 of their videos blacklisted. They're an educational video series that debunks social justice and false feminist narratives. What else do we expect to see happen when Google decided to give a badge and gun to any butthurt millennial Marxist snowflake with an axe to grind against those with differing opinions? Now, the videos in question that have been flagged as inappropriate include are the police racist why don't feminists fight for muslim women why did america fight the korean war who's more pro-choice europe or america what isis wants why are there still palestinian refugees are one in five women raped at college and so on and so forth very important videos. They provide a counter-narrative to the mainstream PC bullshit that kids are being fed nowadays. And of course, we can't be having that because the truth is triggering. So let's move on. The smear campaign against Donald Trump has accelerated into high gear and it's become very obvious now that the mainstream media are all complicit on this. They are doing whatever it takes to have Hillary elected. And I must admit, given the focus they've placed on like things like Trump's locker room talk rather than her corruption and WikiLeaks scandals, I'm getting worried. Given her lead in the polls, it seems not enough Americans are sufficiently red-pilled to the reality around them. Our voices are being systematically drowned out and the lies and PR spin are sadly working in the favor of the pro-Hillary camp. It seems that most Americans and the undecides know not what they do. Even if Trump turns around and wins the popular vote somehow, some miracle, Hillary will likely win in the electoral colleges. It seems also that another distressing development has emerged, which will make it very difficult to bring over undecides, or, you know, people on the fence. How many times have you seen tweets like this? This is from Sargon's Twitter, and I think it's a very good example. And I think he hits the nail on the head when he responds to this, this tweet. Sargon, you're a retard if you think Trump would make a better president than Hillary. She might be a liar, a hypocrite, and a criminal, <laughs> but she's far better than the alternative, without any evidence as to why she's a better alternative. And Sargon replies with an absolutely brilliant smackdown to this bullshit tweet. She might be all the very worst things a politician can be, but I don't really like the other guy. And it's very true. It doesn't seem to matter what new revelations WikiLeaks come out with about Hillary. People keep using the same logical fallacy. No matter what Hillary does or has done, Trump is always considered worse. She could literally be seen on video biting the head off a kitten, punching a baby, and pushing a wheelchair-bound old lady down the stairs. People seem to acknowledge that she's terrible, but Trump is always seen as being worse. Whenever another fresh allegation backed by evidence is leveled at Hillary, the bar of criticism is raised once again against Trump and any minor thing he's done is blown way out of proportion. He cannot win this election so long as the odds are so firmly stacked against him in this way. Americans must wake up to this and stop drinking the mainstream Kool-Aid. You're being lied to and you're being manipulated. Democracy cannot take place if your journalists are nothing more than bought and paid for sellouts. So let's get back to YouTube again. I've mentioned several times that my video about four reasons not to vote for Hillary got permanently demonetized with no explanation. But the sarcastic video I made recently called 10 reasons not to vote for Donald Trump remains monetized. The bots just can't pick up on sarcasm just yet, it seems. Now, I have no doubt that some advertisers do have genuine issues with certain types of content on YouTube, but I think Google is hiding behind that excuse, often in circumstances where advertisers aren't complaining. The demonetization is designed to encourage you to change your mind and correct 
your own wrong think. Luckily, they're too dumb to realize that I can just mess with them and get my point across just as effectively, if not more so, in other ways. Massive YouTuber Casey Neistat released his first political video, Wouldn't You Know It?, he ad hommed against Trump and revealed his allegiance to Hillary. Now, I actually critiqued his video on this on my YouTube channel already. He encouraged other users to call out and basically harass other big YouTube stars to vote for Hillary and encourage their audience to follow suit. Uh, this little bit of blatant harassment, which violates YouTube's terms of service, goes unchecked and he will not be punished for this with a community guideline strike. You wanna know why? because of this. As I talked about, I believe it was about a week ago, a third party had offered me money to be in a pro Hillary Clinton video. I of course declined because as I've repeated multiple times. It appears someone is paying YouTubers, big YouTubers, to produce pro Hillary content. So of course Google are not going to apply the letter of their own laws to those who bend or break their rules in this way. They're happy to turn a blind eye to it. I'm not suggesting that it's Google paying YouTubers to do this, and Philip DeFranco didn't reveal the name of the company who had contacted him, but given Google's bias towards Hillary, which we've seen from manipulated search results, they seem perfectly willing to allow organizations who share their political views to bend their rules when it suits their agenda. Though I don't have conclusive evidence that Casey Neistat was paid to make his pro-Hillary video, there are three reasons I can think of that make me think he may have been. Firstly, we know that big YouTubers are being approached to make pro Hillary content. So that's the first thing, it's the timing of this. Secondly, the guy has never previously discussed politics on his channel before. Suddenly he's shilling for Hillary. And finally, the guy has had some connections with her in the past. That's me, Casey Neistat. The movie you see us shooting here is for an art benefit. Here's the part of Senator Clinton's acceptance speech where she sort of thanks us, the Neistat brothers. I also, I think, want to thank uh, Casey and Van Neistat. So is it any wonder that my video on 10 reasons not to vote for Trump continues to be monetized, but my video about four reasons not to vote for Hillary was demonetized? So this is disgustingly blatant and discriminatory against someone just for having different political views. Their new bullshit terms of service are designed to be so vague and unworkable so as to kill off news reporting and therefore destroy conservative voices. But yet, so long as your views are in line with Google's politics, you can discuss whatever the hell you want. They're cherry picking who gets monetized and who doesn't, and someone needs to call them out on this. If there was some way to force them into a corner so that they would have to admit that this is what they're doing, it would be very, very bad for them. It would seriously affect their share price and they would be forced to roll back. I look at the story about former Facebook employees coming out saying that they were forced to manipulate the news feed to omit conservative news stories, this is no different. Time is not on our side and all we can do is our best. That's it. So please share this message and similar messages with whoever you think may be on the fence about this election. Remember, Hillary wants to shut down people like Breitbart, conservative news media outlets. So it's not going to be particularly difficult for her to work with her friends at Google, <laughs> who are clearly facilitating her campaign and shut down our entire community over there. And I think it's all gonna go downhill very quickly if she's elected. I shudder to think, and yet it's a future we all have to prepare for. So I think this is a, a good time to start producing content on other platforms just occasionally. Um, of course, I will remain on YouTube for as long as they will have me, as long as they can tolerate me, <laughs> um, until I'm forced out to become an exile from YouTube and go somewhere else but my home will always be here on Minds as well. So I post everything here, so do keep up with, uh, with any new content I produce. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.